we have to understand that demons place thoughts into our minds. God can as well. And you may disagree with this, but I believe that our thoughts are not our own. They are not. The more that I serve God, the more I find this to be true. I really do. Every good thing that comes to my mind, either for me to pay my taxes, to do something for people, so on and so on, I find out that it is God placing those thoughts in my mind because 98% of the time when a positive thought comes to my mind about doing something for someone it is something that I don't want to do or when a thought comes to my mind telling me to go speak to a person many of that time I don't want to speak to that person <laughs> so it is something that I don't want to do but when I do it I find out that it not only helps them but it helps me as well okay when negative thoughts come to my mind irrational thoughts I don't want to go this way but I may have to speak about this though see what demons do and with me 95% of the time or maybe more my thoughts are negative 95% of the time every day just about thoughts that I don't want like I was saying our thoughts are coming from an outside source so we get to choose on what thoughts to contemplate on we can choose to contemplate on thoughts about God or thoughts that demons are placing in our minds. Give me a second, please. So as I was saying, 95% of the time, my thoughts are negative, extremely negative, like silly thoughts. And what demons do, they take something bad that a person did to you in the past or whenever and then they twist it trying to make you hate that person trying to get you to do something bad to that person just trying to cause chaos trying to get you in unforgiveness I'm telling you even though most of my thoughts are negative I don't contemplate on it because I know that it is not coming from me it is coming from demons so what I do and what we are going to do here we are going to learn how to replace our thoughts so if a thought comes to you saying that you are a failure what can you do to replace that thought or what can you say to yourself to replace that thought you can say that I am NOT a failure I am blessed what if you choose to contemplate on this thought here I am a failure what if you choose to keep this in your mind the entire time it is going to make you feel bad it is going to make you feel worse 
it is not going to make you feel good. So what is the point on contemplating something on something that did not come from you? So replace that thought with, I am not a failure, I am blessed. And you may say, hey, Kevin, you know, I really don't feel that way. I really feel that I am a failure. When you were a baby, did you think this way? Of course not. When you were one, two, three, up to five perhaps, did you feel this way? <clears throat> no. You started to feel this way because of something that happened to you back in the past, right? So, how did that bad thing happen to you? It was because of demons. So who is placing this thought in your mind? Demons. So demons made that bad thing happen in your life. Demons are placing these bad thoughts in your mind. So, what they are saying to you is not true. Because you did not feel that way until they start placing that in your mind. When they place that in your mind, and when you started to contemplate on it, then that's when you started to feel like a failure. But before then, you did not feel that way. So you can say your contemplation on that thought, so thinking about that thought so much, started to make you feel that way. So that lie became true. Make sense? So since that demonic thought is a lie, why not place positive thoughts in your mind? So if you are not a failure, that means that you don't have to think that way. So the opposite has to be true then, right? So you are not a failure, you are blessed. Because if that demonic thought is a lie that came from demons, the opposite has to be true. It has to be true. Won't you agree with that? Because whatever happened to you, it happened because of demons. Demons working through other people. And those negative thoughts that are coming to you are coming to your mind because of demons. So demons started the issue and they are placing the negative thoughts in your mind. So the whole thing is a lie. So the opposite have to be true. So I am not a failure, I am blessed. Make sense? Number two, another demonic thought, I am worthless. Okay, something bad happened to you to make you feel that way. So it was a demon that made that bad situation. That happened through a person. A demonic person so this thought is going through your mind because of demons so it is a lie you are not worthless you may feel worthless because of what because you are contemplating on those demonic thoughts but now you know that it is not true because it was demons that started that bad situation and now they are placing that thought into your mind makes sense right so the opposite have to be true give me a second please
so the opposite have to be true. So I am not worthless, I have value. This should really make sense. Okay, another demonic thought comes to your mind. I am stupid. Well, you can pretty much predict what I am going to say. You are not stupid. A demon started that bad situation, right? And now they are placing that negative thought into your mind. And you are contemplating on it, making it more true. So you are making that lie true by living it out. But it is a lie. For instance, A person can say that I am a clown. And of course, that is not true. I am not wearing any white makeup or like one of those red balls around my nose or like a wig or anything like that. But let's say that I keep on contemplating on it contemplating on it then I say hey they must be right so I go out and put some white makeup on and some marks around my eyes and have a horn you know honk 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 <laughs> or honk honk <laughs> and start acting like a clown then that lie so I just made that lie true because I am living out that lie because I contemplated on that lie so long that I started to live it out. I am not a clown. Do I look like a clown? I don't have the suit or whatever clowns have. So I am not a clown until I start to act like a clown. Demons can't make you do anything. They can only persuade and lie to you. They can't force you to do anything. So whatever a person is saying about you, it's not true. It's not really true. But when you start to act it out, Yes. Does that make any sense? Like I was saying before, all of these negative thoughts here. Did you feel this way when you were an infant or up to five years old? No. Would you say an infant does not know much of course but you was not thinking that that you were stupid or worthless and stuff like that no but when you started to get around other people and they started to do bad things to you perhaps and those demonic thoughts started to come to your mind that's when you started to feel that way. So, you started believing in lies. So once you started to believe in lies, then you started to act it out. Make sense? Some people may have called you a whore or something like that. And you was not a whore. And for some people, they started to act it out because they started to believe in that lie. Man, I really hope this makes sense. When you start to believe a demonic lie, you are going to begin to live it out. 
So the whole thing about it, don't believe in those lies. Don't act it out. I really hope that makes sense. I am pretty sure your mom and dad, cousins, uncles, people at your high school or any type of school may be calling you names or starting up fights with you and stuff like that, saying things that are not true. But if you start to believe in it, you are going to act it out. So it is a lie. You can replace those negative demonic thoughts with positive thoughts, which are true. Because that lie is not true. So since that lie is not true, the opposite have to be true. So let me stop it here. I really hope you get the point. And be consistent in this. You have to do this every day, all day. I serve God. But still, negative thoughts cloud my mind. Not so much cloud, but they try to flood into my mind and take me over. If I were to contemplate on all of those crazy, demonic, wicked thoughts, <laughs> I really would be in bad shape. In horrible shape. I would be. I'm really serious. And actually, back in my early 20s, I was. I was so depressed. So depressed. Then I started to tell myself, look, I am going to stop thinking about these bad things. And if people, if certain people are going to say mean things to me, let me not be around them. Let me separate from those negative people. And that's what I did. And when I stopped thinking about negative things and stopped going around those negative people, guess what? I started to feel better. <laughs> no surprise. If a person calls you an idiot every time they see you, idiot, 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 so on and so on. If they continue to say that to you all day, every day, and you stay around that person, sooner or later, you are going to believe in it because words have power. There are power in our words. I'm telling you this. So separate yourself from negative people if you can. Now, if you are under 18, you may have to live with your parents. And if your parents are negative, just pray. Pray so much for your parents. I'm telling you. So I really hope this makes sense. And let me stop here for real. <laughs> okay, God bless.